What's up, everybody? Jakey Crack Outdoors here. And uh, so we just got up to camp. It's Friday afternoon. It's about 7 o'clock. Uh, traps are looking pretty good. Looking, re looking real good. Might hit them with a little bit more vinegar in spots that didn't rust, but then uh, they're pretty good. I'm going to put the wolf fangs on these and trap tags. and uh, Trap tags are on them. I just got to wolf fangs on a couple of them. And uh, we're ready to go. Um, tomorrow is the PTA meeting, so I'm not going to be here in the morning. So I'm not sure what I'm all going to get into this weekend. But uh, we'll get into something. I got a bunch of projects. I just ain't got nothing scheduled. It's pretty much whatever I get into this weekend. Uh, one thing I definitely want to look into is possibly building a rack to get these traps up on. I got a lot more traps coming up. And uh, when it comes to wax, and I want to have somewhere to hang them at least, at least while I'm going through the process. So I'm thinking about maybe uh, putting a rack here off of this tree, just putting another support out and running some two by four, something like this, and just having some kind of temporary rack. Uh, my old uh, trapping tree, as you can see, it fell. That's what's laying on the ground here. But uh, this this ain't working too much anymore. I'm, I'm getting too much too much steel for this tree so i can't spend a lot of time on what i'm doing because it's just a temporary thing but uh we got to do something so uh hope you guys enjoy this stay tuned and uh, i'll get back to you what's up everybody so here i'm back from camp back at camp from the uh pta meeting uh it was a lot longer of a day than i expected uh not because of the pta meeting i'll get into what else i did here today so let me show you what i picked up today so grabbed a couple things uh nothing big just um, some lore some pa stuff some hall hall bakers number four coyote uh i've used this in the past uh my buddy i went to the show it he uh he, he got me on this joe's lore's intrigue he said he's had luck with and then uh i believe it's jw stevenson the stevenson's traditional homestead i believe is their youtube channel um but a great channel but he uses this leggett's uh k9 exciter and uh he's had great results on this so um, i'm gonna give it a shot and uh i'm gonna have a link to his channel in the description he has a great channel if you don't got him make sure you grab him up he's a very good channel and great trapper uh and then this is a, this is another one this is a r and r trading post uh critter getter uh this is a food based lore so bought some of this and uh one of the big things is i talked to r and r and uh i don't know if you guys have seen my uh my black coyote i caught earlier in the year um that has been frozen whole in my freezer for uh since i caught it uh that would have been the second coyote I ever skinned at, and uh, I didn't want to try it on the black coyote, which I'm in that country again. So I froze it whole, and uh, been tossing it up in the air. Do I want to get it uh, mounted? Did I want to just get it tanned, uh, tanned for a wall hanger? And then what I didn't think about the whole time was I want to get a mountain man hat. So what I think I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the mountain man hat made up from R&R uh, &R Trading Post. Uh, I talked to him. Um, he said, uh, wait till we get into some better weather for skinning. So he said, probably wait till trapping season starts. So what's probably going to happen is once season starts and we get in some colder weather, I am going to be dropping uh, black coyote off frozen to him and uh, going to pay him to make a mountain man out of it. Uh, I've seen some hairs work. They do great work. So uh, I'm excited about that. Um, what else do we get today? It's uh, Red Fox, Yorin, Joe's Lures. I got this from Joe's Lures too. Uh, Got the uh, PTA Trapper shirt. That's the front. Back. Picked up a window decal. And then uh, here goes what took forever today. This is, uh, this is the new one here. I ended up getting the uh, H&R 22. Uh, last year I was using my a rifle and it was just a lot. Um, 
I've been wanting one of these for a while and then I seen Boxy put one up and did a little review on it and uh, I decided I'm just going to get one. And uh, the great part about this all today was in Clearfield, where the trapping meeting was, right across the river there is uh, Grace's Gun Shop and any PA guys, especially in the central part of the state, Grace is a great place. Check them out. They'll match prices. Uh, gets a little crowded. They, nah, it was pretty packed today. But uh, it's a great place to buy guns and I uh, just check out if you're in the guns. I mean, they got everything there. So uh, we got that. Um, we got these two bins. Pick these up. Uh, as you can see, it's overcast. I'm not making no wax dirt in the sun to this weekend. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two bins and I'm going to put wax dirt and I'm going to put dirt and wax in there. And I'm going to put them in the back of my truck this week. And uh, hopefully the tailgate down and that black tarp gets it hot enough and that'll says it'll work i just uh we went from being 90 degrees every day to i think next week they're calling for it, uh barely to get 80 so uh i'm sure it's gonna get warm again i'll drive around i just have to drive around with dirt in the back of my truck till it melts so all right guys let me uh i'm gonna start working on a rack for the traps i got some ply uh, two by fours for that uh probably give you a little update on that but uh this is just another week, and I really don't have a plan. I'm just doing what I'd want to do. It's relaxing. So stay tuned. What's up, everybody? So I want to show you my build on my <laughs> my trap rack. Um, I really don't. I almost I almost started building a shed, and it's the last thing I really could possibly do. Mainly because I have no idea where I want to put it. Um, so. I didn't want to spend a lot of money on this so I had these two by fours and I had this tree so what I'm doing is I'm just gonna I got them on sitting on rocks I'm just gonna put three shelves nails all the way down just to hang everything I'm gonna leave the front here for something for snares or cable restraints I should say uh, I'll customize it out a little bit as I go but um, just temporary I always say a year, but it could be five, it could be ten, it could be forever, but uh, I had everything here. It's nothing like I, I'm spending any money on this, so uh, got to be cheap at some point, I guess, and uh, this is this is where I'm drawing the line. <laughs> spending a lot of money here recently, and uh, looking forward to getting into this season, so uh, thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, I'll get back to you once I get everything hung up here, and uh, I'll show you what I came up with. Thanks, everybody. All right, guys. So here goes what I ended up with. Uh, this side here, we got the MBs. These are all the Dukes right here. Sleepy Creeks, Bridgers. Uh, some old mixed up stuff. I still got a bunch. I still got other traps that's got to come. Uh, come here, but. Uh, It'll work. It'll work for what I gotta do. So wasn't that bad. Keeps everything off the grass. At least I can cut the grass around it. Now that was the big problem before, so. Alright guys. I'm gonna clean up and uh losing the sun real fast. Maybe take a ride on the quad, so I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. What's up, everybody? So, um, doing a little late night work. As you can see, I still got everything out from building this bit. Uh, what I've been doing for the past hour or so is, no, eh, half hour, is uh, wolf gang, putting wolf fangs on everything. Uh, I didn't have enough last time to do it. I only had about, I don't know, six or so. But, uh, man, I'm getting attacked. But I didn't have uh, the maid. So I brought everything up and I've been making wolf fangs and putting them on the anchor on these traps as I go. I've been doing six at a time. Uh, got a fire going. Relaxing night. I do a couple and I say I hang out at the fire, have a drink, and then I come back and I do a couple more. <clears throat> but here's my setup. I got all the wolf fang. Wolfang anchors, ferrules. Uh, I do have the uh, crimping tool. And what I do is, um, I have it marked out at home. But I think it's 24 inches. Make roughly 
18 inch and I actually did set them on the driver to make sure that they were plenty deep enough the driver uh, probably stack up another six inches from there so that's that's perfect um, so what I'm doing from here is I'm going for my my crimped end I put a loop going into a J hook I would like to do this for you but it's dark and uh, But that's what I'm doing, and I have the squeezers for the J hole. These are Cone Creek. Um, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, I would show you my face, but you ain't gonna see it. Uh, I don't know. Late night, it's dark. Uh, I'd either be sitting in the cabin reading, or I figured this is something I could do on the tailgate of the truck with my headlamp. So that's what I'm doing. Um, just relaxing, enjoying the night. Hope everybody's having a good night, and uh. I'll get back to you tomorrow. Not sure what I'm actually going to get into, but uh, we'll get into something. Thanks for watching, everybody. What's up, everybody? Jakey Crack Outdoors here. And uh, I'm back here at uh, our shooting range. Um, what I got set up is I got six clays out there. And I got this uh, Heritage 22. I've been shooting a little bit here. So I'm going to see if I can go six for six from about seven, I don't know, maybe seven or eight yards. Uh, put you on the head and we'll see what happens. Six for six, all six clays got to go down or, or not. I don't know what happens. But uh, I've shot about, I don't know, five or six cylinders through it. I like it. It's pretty accurate so far. Definitely good enough for what I'm going to be uh, using it for. It's mainly just a trap line gun. So, all right, let me get you on my head and we'll uh, we'll see how this goes. All right, guys, here we go. One for one. Two for two. Three. Miss. It's empty. not bad uh that one's about a 10 yard shot that's it's probably about the extent uh i don't know i could doctor this up a little bit it's hard to see the sights i'm thinking about maybe putting some uh some paint or some nail polish or something on there just so i could see the sights but i'm liking it i picked up this uncle mike's holster for it too seems to fit it pretty good like i said most of the time this is just going to be in my trap bag so uh, look at it now nice and pretty because it's not going to look like that in a couple months guys this thing's going to be as rusty as a trap i bet but the price was right uh i think i paid 119 bucks for this gun it's not a bad deal all right guys let me reload and try to get this last one I like it. Cheap to shoot. A little heavy, but it's going to work good for me. So, guys, uh, I sifted the rest of the dirt I had up here. Uh, I got the two bins ready to go. I'm going to be putting them in the truck soon before I leave and putting wax in them. Uh, just doing some clean up here the rest of the this afternoon. It's probably around like 2 o'clock. Uh, I'm probably going to get out of here within the next hour or so. So, uh, that'll probably be it for me uh, Service has been down so I haven't been able to be on uh, YouTube at all So I don't know where I'm at as far as the 500 but I know I was about 15 or so short Before the weekend, so I'm probably right around there still so Give me the 500 I got a giveaway coming up and I got that Asher Brothers uh, logbook giveaway coming up too I'm thinking about doing that probably End of September that's gonna be right before trapping season starts. I know here in Pennsylvania, it starts October 24th, I believe. Uh, I probably won't start trapping until first, I want to say the second week in November, but I'm probably going to be at the first week in November, so. 
thought I heard something. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure you uh, hit that like button. Uh, make sure you subscribe and give me some feedback. Thanks for watching, everybody.